Hi, this is Winnie with Next Level Board Games, and today we're going to unbox Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels, the board game. This is a game published by Panacult Games and designed by Jonathan Phillips Bradford. And as you can see, I ordered the deluxe version, which when it came in the mail yesterday and I got the box, I was a little shocked by the, uh, the size of the box. And I was thinking it was a lot of packaging. And then I opened it up and this came out. And just to give you a little bit of reference, here's a regular game. <laughs> Substantially different. So pretty excited to pop this case open and see what's under the hood. So first we have a couple of Kickstarter expansions. These are just a couple more models. As I said before, I got the deluxe edition, which means instead of 2D characters, I got 3D models. So let's break open the plastic and see what's inside. Hopefully it comes through how incredibly large this box is because it really is very big. And I have absolutely no idea where on the shelf I'm going to find a spot for it, but we are going to make a spot somehow. Let's see here. So as you can see in the corner, it says 3D edition. So I'm going to guess that's why this is so tall. All right. That side. Here is the rule book. Whoa, that's pretty good size. Whoa, 60 pages. So they had a uh, they had a rule book online, and it was like 21 pages. So I'm not sure why this is 60 pages. However, I know I'll find out. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is going to be where we're going to put our tiles on when we're actually playing. This will be the play area. So the tiles actually go here. There'll be a start tile, and then the other tiles will slide in. Here are a bunch of the models. So you can see the regular bosses, uh, the propeller rats, bone clangs, things like that. Uh, I love, by the way, I love that they're all in, they have um, specific little cutouts, right? So that you know exactly where they go and where they fit in. It's always nice. It's a small little pet peeve of mine when a game doesn't come with good inserts. So here are going to be um, our Shovel Knights, as well as some of the bigger bosses. Pretty cool. Quite a few in here. More than I expected, which might be... Uh, responsible for some of the extra rules <laughs> but like for instance so this is I don't know what the name of this guy is but pretty good size model there it's pretty good size compared to some of the regulars so that's pretty cool love the insert it's definitely gonna protect those I have a feeling some of these are gonna be a little enemy card here. So these are the uh, the standard enemies, right? So that tells you what they're... Oh, I see where that came from. It was pre-popped. That takes the fun out of it, doesn't it? So here are some uh, different pop-outs. Not exactly sure what all these are. I don't recognize these, but I know what that is. The color rat. And some of the coins, right? We're going to have coins and ones and fives. So, let's see here. These, I believe, are some of the boss tiles. Whole bunch of pop-outs. Just standard cardboard pop-outs. Pretty shiny. Nice bright colors. That's kind of nice. So, these are going to be like our mounds of dirt where we can get things and search for things. Our hearts when we cause damage and pick up coins and then hopefully don't fall into a pit so we have to drop half our money. That we don't want. A bunch more standees. Not sure why I'm getting those. I think those maybe are duplicates of the of the actual models. Let's hope because the models are really cool. I really like the models. Okay, now there's a whole bunch more goodies. I have no idea what those are for. Little clips. Uh, now here's our dungeon, our shovel knight cards, and probably some of our boss enemies. Let's see here. Oh yeah, so here's the different colored shovel knights. And then, right, so then our standard, some of our um, standard enemies. Actually, these look like they might be, they have accessories as well. 
So these might actually be other players we get. That seems like an awful lot of players. Maybe this was part of the expansion. Anything's possible. Because this is definitely one of our enemies right here, Enchantress. So there's one of our enemy cards. Here's some directional cards. Here's some of our hit cards. We're going to try to avoid those as much as we can. But I know there's more in there than that. A whole bunch of these. These are a really nice size. Oh, and then the other side, right? That's for the little bats. And then... I'm not sure what those ones are yet. Our little mounds of dirt. Oh, it looks like some of those are going to be even worse than others. And a bunch of other things as well. Oh, some more stuff. Tricky stuff. Well, again, I'm sure we'll find out what all those do. Let's see. There's huge decks of cards here. So a lot of cards. More cards than I expected. Let's see here. Oh, these are going to be like relics and things, right? So here's cards for the knights, the different knights. A whole bunch of those. So these are going to be the AI cards that move our monsters. Okay, so those were all monsters. I thought that they were, but then they didn't seem like it. So these are all going to match up with these cards over here. Okay, so then these cards are going to go with this guy. And then when you're fighting him, you have these AI cards. And so then randomly, he is going to move an attack. And if you're in his way, you're going to get hit. Hopefully, you can protect yourself. Then we've got a bunch of loot cards. A lot of different ones of these. Several different types. Okay, I see. So these are going to be some relic cards. More loot cards, arcana cards. Hmm, a bunch of different types of cards there. Like four different sets. I'm excited to get to the dice, so I'm holding off because I want to wait till last. <laughs> so then these, let's see here. Equipment. Oh, here's some equipment cards. So these go when you're playing, when you have your shovel knight, you can get equipment and you can get up to two accessories and only one armor. So uh, that's what some of these cards are for. So like right here, accessory. You can use that. Different things like that. And there's going to be, there's an armor right there, an example of an armor. So different things like that. That's how those are going to play out. Those fit nice. They look like they'll fit good. They're nice and slick, so they have a good finish on them. Definitely going to, um, I think they'll last a long time. And they have a nice little slot in the, in the box right there where those go. So I like that. There's different size slots for the different things. Looks like we got a bunch of stuff for Scandies, even though we weren't really going to need that, hopefully, with the Deluxe Edition. And then some more cards. The dice. I really want to get to the dice. Holding off. Okay. Here's the rest of those cards and why I had a hard time finding what I was looking for. So a bunch more AI cards, right? So these are going to be for all the, all the boss monsters. Whole bunch of those. So different cards for attacks, things like that. You're not going to see coming. So a little bit of suspense there. Which is always fun. Oh, and here's some spawn cards. So when you have to spawn a new monster on, uh, on any one of the tiles, that's going to come from there. I don't know what that one is. Hero card must have been might be the extra. Um, so these are going to be for this is going to randomize right what what regular monsters you have to fight against as you're moving their tiles along. And then some tiles. So quite a few tiles. I'm hoping this looks a little bit tiny bit curved, but I think I'm hoping it's not a thing. So the start. I guess it probably goes this way. Nope, there's an arrow for people like me who aren't sure. So the top of the tile, there's a little arrow there. I do remember seeing that. Okay, so basically you're gonna take these, these five, we got the five basic ones. Then we got a bunch of ones that are related to monsters. 
the boss, the boss enemies, right? The end guys. So you're going to pick one of those and um, then you'll mix those up and then you'll stick them underneath these to create your game, right? And then you won't use the rest. So this is going to be a fairly quick game. The box is 30 to 40 minutes, one to four players, age 10 plus. And if you're only using this many tiles, it's probably not going to be that long. So these are actually, they fit in here really well. They seem like they're gonna last a long time. They don't seem like they're gonna smudge fingerprints. They have kind of an interesting texture to them. So I don't think that, a little tiny bit bigger than the, the actual mat when you get all four of them in there. Slightly bigger, just a little bit, barely noticeable. Uh, but they have a nice finish on them. They don't seem like, I don't think that I'm gonna leave behind fingerprints all over them, they're gonna get dirty. So that's kind of nice. They, it looks like, it feels like they could easily wipe off if you got something on them and I don't think it would stick. Um, so that, that's kind of cool. Definitely excited about that. And then of course, when you have your attacks and your protections, right? Got all your little dice, custom etched dice. These are very cool. They're not super heavy. Um, but I do love that they're etched, you know, the little pips, basically, like they would be pips, but they're unique. They're completely custom, right? So you've got like your shovel for attacking and your jump, and then your protection right here, right? So that's kind of cool. So they roll pretty good. Yeah, I like these. There's plenty of them, so everybody can kind of have their own. That's kind of nice. Let's see. I think that's kind of all there is. I'd really like to go back and look at some of the models though. Look how detailed these are. These are very detailed. Of course, it doesn't hurt that I love purple, but those are pretty, pretty cool. And of course, I don't know. I mean, these aren't going to be on here necessarily, but I don't know how we're going to get four. If we can have a total of four, <laughs> we're really going to be trying to squeeze four in on a square. But these are oversized, of course, right? And the, the regular ones aren't. The regular ones are going to easily be able to fit the four that you can have maximum in a square. So it eh, works pretty good. This holds together. It slides apart a little bit. If I put something on here, it's going to tilt it down a little bit. It's a tiny bit curved, but really not a big deal. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much that. I'm pretty excited to, to actually set a game up and play it. Anyway, that's pretty much the inside of Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels. Uh, I'm pretty excited to play this game. There's, you know, a few different sets of cards. There's relic cards and equipment cards and spawn cards and nothing like overly complicated. Uh, each player, you know, each character is going to have a Shovel Knight dungeon guy. It's not going to be super hard. I think we're going to run through and get past the regular enemies and then go right after the boss enemy. So I don't think that's going to be super hard. I don't think it's meant to be. I think it's meant to be fun, uh, but not like, you know, overly, overly hard where every time you get your butt kicked. I think this one's more meant for just having a super good time and like a retro kickback to the actual video game itself. Uh, and again, 30 to 45 minutes. I think uh, sans setup time, I think you probably could play this after you know how to play in 30 to 45 minutes. So two or three players easily. I think that wouldn't be hard at all. So excited to set it up. Well, and that's pretty much it for Shovel Knight Dungeon Duels, a 30 to 45 minute for one to four people by Panicult Games. Uh, I'm pretty excited to play this game and I am really excited that I got the models, um, which look like this versus 2D, which while colorful looks like this. So I'm pretty stoked that I got the upgrade uh, on that one. And on that, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing with next level board games.